So on the Ender 3 and other Bowden extruder type printers, uh, you can control the advancement or the retraction of the filament using a control knob like shown here. And you can see my R2D2 control knob. You can remove the filament this way. Um, it's, it's effective. Uh, honestly though, it's just as easy to push the little lever and then to pull uh, the filament out to remove it or to push it in to load it. Uh, I find that that's actually much more uh, effective and easier to do. But that said, these control knobs are pretty cool. And so they become like this little decorative element. As you can see here, while it's printing, it's like R2-D2 is building the whistle that's printing right there. It's pretty darn cool. Now, uh, if you're gonna make it decorative, you might as well make the control knob anything you want. So here we have uh, a rightward facing illusion arrow uh, that I've shown before and added it to the top. And as you can see that when it's uh, horizontal to your perspective, it always seems to be pointing to the rightward direction. And as we rotate the other direction, we'll see that the arrow is now once again facing to the right and will always face to the right. And so I'll have examples of these files for you uh, to download if you want to print out your own. Another example that I designed here is this star illusion. So on the one's face, it looks like a star. As it rotates 180 degrees, it will turn into a circle. And I have a couple of these that I'll, I'll put up on Thingiverse uh, for you to download if you would like them. But again, it's just a cool little decorative piece that as your printer is, is printing, uh, you can, I guess, admire what's going on. So coming back to R2-D2, uh, I think probably one of the more fascinating ones. Uh, what's really cool about R2-D2 is when the printer is printing, it actually sounds like R2-D2. So we're gonna transition here to a live print, and I'm gonna just let you listen to R2-D2 print uh, the object that's on my printer. I love how his head turns. It's just fascinating. Well, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to, again, have these files in Thingiverse. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment below if you have questions or anything you'd like to ask. Thanks.